Now, in regards to social justice, Islam urges us to commiserate and identify with the weakest in society. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wasbir nafsik so the ayah starts off keep yourself patient with those who remember their Lord in the morning and the evening seeking his face means seeking the face of Allah who were these people? these people were the people that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam sat the most with when he migrated from Mecca to al Madina to Munawara these people had the title in the books of Sirah called Ahlul Sufa. These were the poorest people of the companions. Many of them were ex-slaves, like Salman and some non-Arabs, by the way. Like Salman al-Farsi, Suhaib al-Rumi, Bilal al-Habashi. These were these people. So some of the aristocrats Arabs, those who had wealth, who were part of the status quo, who had resources. They said that they didn't want to sit with those people, so make a, make a majlis for us, and then you go back to those other people, those Fuqara people, those Masakin people. And this is, one, and this is in the Sabah uh, al-Nuzul, it says that then it was revealed to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Keep yourself patient with those who remember their Lord in the morning and the evening, seeking the face of God. It is said that when Ali ibn Abi Talib, after he was stabbed by Ibn Muljam, the, the Kharaji, before he passed, he gave some advice that basically sums up most of what our social justice priorities are about. Not all, but most. Ali ibn Abi Talib told to Al Hassan wa Hussein, Wadi Allahu Anhuma, Kul al Haq, Warhamal Yateen, Wakunan lil Zalim, Hassaman, Walil Mahmoom, Nasira. He said, Speak the truth and speak to what is right, the right. Haq in plural is hukuk. It's truth, but also people's rights. In this context, speak the truth regarding people's rights. And the hukuk comes from al haq. Allahu Azza wa Jal. Hukuk comes from al haq. The giver of the rights is Allah. And be merciful to the orphan. The orphan meaning the one who has no protection in the society. Even when you look at the ayah in the Quran that talks about a man being will have more than one spouse, it is even said in the same reference with orphan. And be to the oppressor an adversary or an opponent. And be a helper to the oppressed. Be an opponent to the oppressor and be a helper to the one who have had their rights usurped. Was the nasiha given by Ali ibn Talib to Al Hassan wa Hussein. When there is a concentration of people in society with power and wealth that seek to hoard wealth to seek to take away the rights of the worker for people to have economic dignity it upsets this balance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places in society which then causes social ills in society Rasulullah said, 
in a hadith, some say it's da'if, some say it's hasan, but Sufyan al-Thawri, rahimahullah ta'ala, authenticated this hadith and he gave an explanation of it. He said, Kabu fakri yakunu kufran. Schemes, the schemes, sorry sisters, I'm looking at the brothers the whole time, I should glance over you, uh, you sometimes. The schemes, the schemes, or the plots, of poverty can lead to disbelief. In this context, it means the actions of disbelief. When poor people aren't able to have economic dignity, to get a job, when they're enslaved by riba, like at some of these check cashing places where people get their quick pay loans, they don't have any money, maybe they're low on money to eat and then they have to get a quick loan for their paycheck, and it's like 25-30% interest. 25-30% interest. You borrow $100 to get groceries for your family and pay back $130 a week later. This enslaves people. This keeps people in poverty. What happens is if people are forced to these levels of poverty and they don't have economic dignity and can't take care of themselves, it could lead them to actions that go contrary to Iman, such as stealing, for instance, or being involved in other types of activities to make money out of desperation. So Rasulullah he encouraged not the feeding of the poor, but uplifting of the poor, so that the poor people, including the poor Muslims, but also people who aren't Muslims, would not go into actions of kuf that would then upset the social balance. But there's other things that come with these activities when the social balance is upset. This is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam taught us a hadith, Allahumma inni ya'udhu bika min al-kufri wal faqr He taught us to say this dua. O oh Allah, surely I seek refuge with you from kufr, from disbelief and actions of disbelief, and poverty. So we as Muslims, in our, in our, in our outlook for social justice, should commiserate more with the poor and downtrodden, make sure that they're getting their rights not identifying with those people who are part of the 1% who may be usurping or using the masses of the people who don't have rights, who are being stripped of their dignity. And I'm saying this for a reason because, I, because I, I've also been following the community trends regarding political discussions and some people in our community are really excited about one particular candidate because he's good on a couple of foreign policy issues. And they totally overlook the aspect of where he's at regarding social justice in terms of economic dignity. They totally overlook that. But, but he must have defund one particular country, so alhamdulillah. We become one issue, we become one issue voters, like how Catholics about the uh, birth control bill issue. Oh, he's for birth control, he's for abortion, oh, stop, we can't vote for him. We have to be a little more sophisticated and more nuanced in that and look at the bigger picture of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. Two other things. I will just remind you of one thing with two things and then close for any questions or maybe comments, hopefully not hostile. Let me remind you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said as he revealed in Mecca and Surah Ma'un, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ara'ayta ladhi yukadhibu bid-deen, fadalik ladhi yudru yateen, wa la yuhuddu ala tu'amil miskeen. We overlook this sometimes. Have you seen the one who rejected the deen? Meaning the true spirit of the deen, Ruh al-Islam. The person who rejected the spirit of Islam it is the one that repelled the orphan and did not call towards the feeding of the poor, did not advocate for the poor. 
In Surah Al-Ma'un, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying it's not good enough just to give a little salat or zakat. You have to be an advocate to try to help fix the situation or the social injustice to work against it so that these people aren't masakeen. And fuqara, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. You're not, it's more than just giving some zakat or going giving a little money to a soup kitchen and want to feed some poor people once a week. It's bigger than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us towards a movement in Surah Al-Ma'un. A social justice movement. 